been some great sporting comebacks over time, like Michael Jordan's return to the Chicago Bulls, Kelly Slater's six post-retirement surfing crowns, and Nicky Lauder's dramatic challenge for the F1 world title after a life-threatening accident at the Nürburgring. But there have been more that have failed to live up to their former glory too. Think legends like Bjorn Borg, Ian Thorpe, and even Michael Schumacher. This is a car that wears the same weight of expectation. It is, of course, the long overdue, long-awaited Alfa Romeo Giulia QV, the high-performance sedan that could sink or save the fortunes of the Italian brand. So, let's see if it's strong enough to wear that burden. Firstly, Alfa has uniquely designed the Giulia range from the top down, making the QV the priority to ensure it lives up to the promise and gives it the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with German rivals such as the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, BMW 3 Series and Audi A4. It's set out to eclipse them all with a series of targets that set new benchmarks for the class. The QV had to be lighter, more powerful, accelerate quicker and lap the Nürburgring faster than the C63, M3 and RS4 that it has in its crosshairs. It also had to be more comfortable and yet more fuel efficient too. Seems impossible, right? Alright, so first impressions. Well, at a leisurely pace this thing's quite easy to drive. The steering is really razor sharp. It's only got two turns lock to lock. Jeez, it goes. It certainly knocks you back in your seat. And the carbon fibre front disc as well, they've got plenty of stopping power too. Under the carbon fibre bonnet sits a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 that has the highest specific output in the class eclipsing the M3 and matching the C63 for power, despite its smaller capacity, with 375 kilowatts and 600 newton meters. Those figures, along with a lithe curb weight of under 1500 kilograms, gives the Julia the ability to rocket from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.9 seconds, and on to a top speed of 307 kilometers an hour. But with modern fuel saving functions like cylinder deactivation and stop start, it has a claimed average consumption of just 7.5 litres per 100 k's. There's none of the crackle and pop that something like a C63 has. But it's got no turbo lag. The thing's just a jet when you're on it. The automatic, well, it's a little bit soft. But hugely playful. Okay, so it produces the numbers to match or beat its rivals, but can it actually use them to go on the offensive? Yeah, not bad, good fun little jigger. Not quite as emotionally charged as a C63, a little less digital than an M3. So, uh, this thing's certainly worthy of some great competition. Thankfully, it's more than just a one-trick pony with a comprehensive suite of safety systems, modern conveniences, and plenty of luxury appointments. So, is it a Jordan-esque comeback or a Borg-style blunder for Alpha? Well, consider this an impressive pre-season hit out for the Julia, a car that certainly recaptures the spirit and the passion for the Alfa Romeo brand and brings some genuine competition to the high-performance segment.